Expedisjonen vår la ut fra Melbourne site i november. Målet for den 80 mil lange åpningsetappa var Aldinga Arts Eco Village, en økolandsby på 330 mål i Drabantbyen Aldinga Beach, 5 mil sør for Adelaide. Det som startet som en kollektiv ønskedrøm på 80-tallet er et dag et fungerende økologisk samvirke som består av folk på tvers av både alder og yrkesgrupper. Eventually we'll have about 150 um, households living here, but at the moment we, we have over 50 households, so it's still early stages. Utviklingen av landsbyen er basert på permakulturprinsippet, noe som omfatter både økologiske jordbruksmetoder og arkitektiske løsninger som utnytter solenergi på best mulig måte. Basically the village is, um, we encourage people to do edible landscapes or native indigenous plants. Bygningsvedtekten i landsbyen krever blant annet at alle huset er utstyrt med solcellepaneler og regnvannstanke på minimum 10 000 liter. Det stilles også krav til at det bygges med miljøvennlige materialer som tar til seg passiv solvarme. Målet er at hele landsbyen skal være fullstendig selvforsynt med både vann og strøm og mat så langt det lar seg gjøres. People get to know each other when you're working and, and interacting together. And that's what an eco-village is too, you know, to be able to live, work and socialize within this area. And a lot of people feel that that is really Da Elisabeth og John Hay ble pensjonister for noen år siden, var det på utkikk etter en miljøvennlig forandring fra det tradisjonelle drabantbylivet i Edleid. Harre var blant de første som etablerte seg i Økolandsbyen, og har vært veldig engasjert i utviklingen det siste ti året. With their own hands they did the stone wall and all the timber work and the mosaics. I was a, a um, division manager for CSIRO and then I managed the sustainability network after that. I began to feel like a real hypocrite actually running that, that, that information network with the sustainability information and knowing that there were areas of my, of my life where I wasn't practicing what I was preaching at all. Then along came this advertisement that said sustainable design, passive solar housing and community. And we just thought that that's for us. It's not an expensive house, it's very modest. The kitchen's small, we've got a tiny little bathroom, one bedroom. And the, the service rooms are designed down the western wall of the house and they act as a an extra barrier in the summer, or they all have heavy wooden doors, solid wood doors, so you can shut them all off and keep the core of the house here a reasonable temperature. And the bedroom is dug into the earth up to about here, right through the back of the house. It's in the earth up to about that, and so it stays almost constant temperature year round. So you never use any heating? No. At all? No. We don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we use heating, but we're generating it directly from the sun. Yeah. The sun gets in right up to halfway yeah. up the dining table, all onto that yeah. slate floor. And the, the floor becomes the heater for the evening. And likewise, this thermal mass here absorbs the sun. So on a winter evening, <laughs> there's actually heat in the kitchen bench. So how, how much water do you use? We use only the rain that falls on the roof for both the house and the garden. I think I should try and live on my income of solar energy and rainwater. And it's a challenge, but it's also like a fun game, finding ways to, um, to actually save water and power. Our water is all gravity fed throughout the house. So we have solar hot water and we have a cold water header tank Gravity feed is really good because it's naturally low flow, so you can use any uh, plumbing fitting you want to. You don't have to try to reduce the pressure. Uh, there is a heat transfer. To me, it seems like the future is lies with local communities. Uh, the more sustainable future. You know, it's it, it's a much closer relationship than you would get in most suburban neighbourhoods. It's more like probably more like what you hear about in traditional village life.
you know, community is what you make it. Um, it can be nothing or it can be everything. The thing that really that makes it here is, is that we you know we, we recognise that we want to be a community, that we that we want to be aware of the people around us. It's not like you know, you're part of a cult or some religious organisation. It's just an average group of people with a large mixture of skills, backgrounds, ages, a whole lot. And you're just, you're just a community. <laughs> Now up in the L, watch movies out here. Um, every week, every Friday, yeah. usually. Yeah. Yeah. If we want this planet to, uh, you know, function for us, we need to take care of it, not just reap the resources out of it and think that it's a never-ending pit.